Okay, the next thing is just to organize this layer. So I will create a new group. So click on this button and name it. And select all the layers and put them in this map. So select the first, scroll down to the last, click with, hold down the shift and click on the last layer. And then just simply grab them and put them in the folder. Minimize the folder. Okay, now I would like to work on the back side of the DVD cover. So move the back side to the front. Now let's import another image. So click on file, open, and actually let's import six images. These are the screenshots of my imaginary movie. Select all the images you would like to import. And click on open. Now change the screen mode view and put all the images in our project. So just choose the selection tool and move them inside and close the image. Now go back to your project and hide all the images except the first one and again rescale it to fit the, the size. So click on edit and free transform, scale down the image. Click on the check and continue with next one. After you're done with that, let's zoom in a little bit and let's rearrange the images. Let's first set the guides for the images. So click on View, Rulers, and just pull down the guide to match the title. And again, click on view and snap to guides. Now move the images to snap to guides. Let's resize this image too. Now let's pull another guide out. Now let's quickly remove the guides, so just click on it and carry them to the ruler. Actually let's bring another guide to match this. This looks pretty good, so just delete the guides again. Now click on the first image and let's add layer styles. Click on the stroke. Let's add a white stroke around it. And let's add an inner shadow. Now let's copy the effects to all of the other images. So just hold the Alt down and grab the effect and move it to other image. Now choose the text tool again and type screenshots. OK, 
that looks good so now let's readjust the images move them a little bit down so select all the images for, select the first hold down the shift and select the last and move them with the selection tool and then just move the text down then just choose the text tool again and write story Click on check, move it a little bit up, then write the story of your movie. So let's paste that in. So again, choose the text tool. Let's zoom a little bit out and make a selection with the text tool where you would like to have the text and then just click paste select the text and, and change the font this one looks alright so let's adjust it lower the size of the text and then simply click on the check so here you can also add some let's say signs for DVD for Dolby Digital or your credits informations about your movie or whatever you want so let's again create a new folder name it backside move all the layers in that folder and close that folder now move the middle part down and let's add the text to a middle part so grab a text tool and write uh, the title of the movie select the text increase it Increase the size of the text now. Let's move text to a middle part. Let's change the color just that I can see it. Move it here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now choose the free transform tool and rotate it remove the text in the middle part you can increase the size of the text or the spacing Now let's add the stroke to the text. So just click on this button and on stroke, choose the color and choose the bevel and emboss and the contour and, ch and click on OK. Adjust the text. Now click on on the middle part layer and click on the layer styles button and then simply on inner glow and adjust the size of the inner glow choose the white color and click on OK maybe lower the opacity of the inner glow for a little bit
and you are basically done. We can also add the uh, bevel and the boss and other effects to the text, but you are basically done. So let's see the result. As you can see, we created an interesting DVD cover. So thank you for watching and please subscribe or like if you enjoyed the tutorial and have a nice day. Bye.